Hey everybody, John here coming to you from a studio on Norwegian Prima. Norwegian is unique in the cruise industry where they dedicate a large number of studios for solo cruisers. So I have booked myself into one of these studios for the very first time so that I can give you a look at what it's like. So I'm going to get myself settled in here on board and then I'm going to give you a little tour of my studio. Let's have a look at this space. You can tell it is definitely small. Uh, it is 94 square feet. I am six foot four, about 190 pounds. And that's, uh, it's okay for me. There's a couple things that are um, really nice though, that are actually extra than you might get in a normal cabin. And this is, the bed is a full size bed, a little bit wider than you would have with the twin beds that get pushed together in the standard cabins. So that's nice, it's been very comfortable to sleep on. Over here you have a little bit of a cubby area where you can store, there's um, some light switches and one USB, not a standard plug, but a USB for charging your phone there at night. And over here is the wardrobe, let's take a look at that. I can see the clothing racks within the closets here sort of stack front to back instead of side to side on the rail. And then you have a couple of spaces to put other items down below, like your shoes. There's plenty of space underneath the bed, which is standard for all cabins on cruise ships usually, and this is no different. So you can put your luggage out of the way there to maximize your stored space. And at the back of the bed here, we've got a little reading lamp. So that pairs up with the light controls you have on the opposite side for the whole room. The decor is kind of nice. This is a nice soft felt acoustical type panel look to it. So that's nice. The design features are a little different in these cabins. I like them. You got the sort of black wrought iron look on this rack. Let's take a look at the desk area over here. There's a nice big mirror in this space and the, it lights up all the way around. And you got your phone, some outlets here for the European style and US outlets and another US outlet on this side. There is no um, shelf or no uh, drawer underneath this shelf there is a little stool that you can pull out and the waste basket down below so this is uh, a main storage area here that keeps a lot of your items accessible this rack here open so you can see where everything is four shelves very nice and then there's a little drawer for some paperwork maybe the daily program and in this cabinet down below that you have the safe and another shelf. Here's a closet space, another one of these rails that works from front to back. A tabletop type surface right below there and a couple of drawers. Go ahead and step in here and show you the bathroom. The first thing you'll notice is there is no privacy here. You can see a window right through to everything. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a door here but you are alone in your studio, so they figure, what's the need for that, obviously? Um, you have three shelves here for organizing above your sink. It's a single sink here. On the wall, you have some hand soap dispenser, a little cup, an outlet for a shaver, and a light switch that turns this mirror on, nice bright light there. There is a towel rack on the sink, as well as on the wall behind the toilet. And there's a grab bar to the right of the toilet here. 
This cabinet door here is just for the waste basket, so no extra storage really available under the sink. Now the other thing that's a little extra that I noted in this studio cabin is it has really got a nice sized shower stall. It's square, perfectly spacious for, for me. Um, no issues in here at all. It's great. Got a couple soap dishes, a little step up rod at the bottom, the sliding adjustable head and hose so it can be a, a handle shower as well. And you got the dispensers with the body wash and the conditioning shampoo combo. Now this door, I noticed also becomes a door for the bathroom. I wondered why they would need that, but then I took a shower and you'll note that when you come out of a steamy shower, you can close the door, step right out and keep the heat in the bathroom if you want, and not let all the steam out into the room. On each side of the door is also hook for towel or bathroom. So of course these cabins have a TV and mine is in this recessed little space within the wall and you can move it on its arm to get the angle you want so you can watch it in bed. Now these cabins are inside cabins so they're very dark in the morning and you could sort of uh, lose track of time. So they do have a virtual porthole channel on the TV, which is kind of cool to watch. You can see the sunrise and sunset. So you might want to sort of sleep with that on maybe, and that could sort of naturally wake you up with a simulated sunrise. Okay, so let's wrap up this tour by showing you the special private lounge that people staying in studio cabins can use. There are 73 studio cabins on Norwegian Prima. They are located on decks 12 and 13. The lounge is down on deck 12. I'm staying on deck 13. So here's how you get down there. So this is the studio lounge. It's actually got three separate rooms. Two of them are lounge community spaces. Um, and then there is a cafeteria sort of buffet gathering point. And in these spaces, you've got some uh, games and couches and seating arrangements. So it's a nice place to gather and you can be in a common area here. So this is that second common area living room space. And there is a big screen TV in here and uh, got the World Series going on in here tonight. And this is the buffet slash cafeteria. They have a self-serve drink area with uh, wines, beers, even margaritas, a soda machine, and a, a variety of snacks. They put out cookies, fruit and things like that. So it's really cool space. So I'm going to enjoy this living room here, watch the game, get a little work done. I really hope you enjoyed this video tour of the studio life here on Norwegian Prima. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next adventure.